Timotheus, Shani, 2 Timothy 2. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahusha HaMashiach, and the things that you have heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit you to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahusha HaMashiach. No man that wars entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. The husbandman that labors must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and Yahweh give you understanding in all things. Remember that at Yahusha HaMashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead, according to my Besorah, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds. But the word of Yahuwah is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sakes. Sakes. That they may also obtain at the salvation, which is in Yahusha HaMashiach, with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abides faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before Yahweh, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show yourself approved unto Yah, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shame, rather, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more wickedness, and their word will eat as does a canker, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus who, concerning the truth, have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the belief of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of Yah stands sure, having this seal. Yahuwah knows them that are his. And hath let everyone that names the name of Yahuwah depart from iniquity. But in a great house... There are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness. Belief, love, peace, with them that call on El Yahweh out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender stripes. And the servant of Yahweh must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves. If Yah perchance will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. <laughs>